everybody, Son of Beast here, and welcome to our first time ever of the NHL All-Star in 2024 on EA Sports. This is the first time for Season 3, as for the last two seasons, was been missed off widely for the start of a season uh, in 2022, but this time, it's time to add something new as we brought one of each teams from the Pacific, Central, Metropolitan, and Atlantic. Last year, they've done this one here in Florida at the Amaranth Arena, but now their next location is at Scotia Bank Arena. This time, as we're about to be seeing, we have a new changeoff team as we are keeping the eyes on the flow. We have one of each between, and here's how it works. Each two teams will be competing here for two periods. One team will advance to the next round and get ready for the finals while the other team will be able to play for nothing in the game and will lose the game and will watch you on the benches also. These are the last ones that will be coming in when right between a Pacific vs. Central and Atlantic vs. Metropolitan. Each final two teams that wins the game in the second period will move on to the final round and then the last one that wins the whole thing will win all for everything for the all-star game in 2024 and all the teams will be able to be a first off to win for the cup for this team this will be all for everybody's game and as you may notice this is what everyone does here for most of all and for our team that we love before first up i will start off with pacific team mcdavid versus the central of Team McKinnon. To start off randomly, as I take a look here from the Pacific lineups, there's one of them that they're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna find it on here right in between. It all goes with Edmonton Oilers. The start of it puts up for Connor McDavid on the wheels that does have it all from the Ely Skane with the puck. The vision is simple. It's really the hard to maintain it for everyone's game that can try to like keep it on going. Even if McDavid has able to play one of his better technique skills from a higher range than that to go higher wheels. And as for the other one for Leon Dreisaitl, he has a tape to tape feed measuring for the puck with greater distance from his own. And finally, Elias Pettersson from the Vancouver Canucks has a snipe ability. He can definitely take all of it for once and he can definitely try to stick on a topic to play for that game all by itself. Now, to meet on the other side with Team McKinnon, we have his Nathan McKinnon has an unstoppable force that can try to like keep on with the attackers going and try to avoid it from the contact from body behind for the other player inbound. Ben Kale McCarr is has some sharp steely edges that will take from one angle to another. But sometimes, however, they can make a great, great puck angle to make the movement. And finally, Roman Yossi. He has the wheels to take over, just like Conor McDavid does. But this time, he wants to do something a little more challenging that he can play against the Canadian team by itself. So we have two Canadian team, three Canadian teams in the Pacific, and three American teams in the starting lineups. And the goaltenders will be up on their way shortly. We'll see how well they do on in between. Time to send you down over to Terry Crews as he stands by with Wood Spoonie and Boomer with the bird commentary. And for the center ice, we definitely do have one that will take all of its ability to make the change and we'll have that one underway there soon. And that means we definitely do have one Ultra Beast. Let's get started. Enjoy the All-Star Game on EA Sports. Hey everybody, it's Terry Crews, and welcome to the All-Star Game of the NHL on EA Sports. Glad we're happy to have you with us here for today, and along with my commentators in between a foot spoonie and Boomer. We know this will be coming in for last year, but we're going to see what this uh, ice rink is. So we are using this for last year in FLA Arena that we have already have seen it before. But now this time, it's time to see what happens. Along with my crew, and this will be your first time to start for this season of the NHL. So it looks like we're about to get this thing ready, and let's find out how well they do. So we have an in-between range here, as the, the last two of this game 
We'll be moving on and then we'll head on to face against the winning team of Metropolitan and the other side of the team as we have it all coming down nearby. You know, I'm really fantastic of what's seen this game here before. You know, this is what the first thing has ever come in fruition. And I really love to see which team is going to be coming in for this game and try to keep up the runs and keeping the secrets right in between. You know one thing's easy on right now because this one, as we've seen a lot of great hustling in there, the real All-Star game is already a popping. But I'm thinking that this one should be the next game that can be another way to get this thing down on hockey. As we are right now, we have a Soros as Ultra Beast stands by. Drew Scoops. Saros is the only one that can take all of this, this with his goaltending of this inter interception to take all of this work his conscience. He can try to take all of this with another huge save on his with pressure. This one takes all of this for their own kind and can try to keep on things going. I'll be watching the, him for Saros and let's find out if he can take on the next one. Back to you. And a start one will be coming in and this one is stopped by, by Saros. Makes it quickly and he goes down towards the angle. Now, Team McDavid will have Connor on his way attack. With the shot range, this one starts with a save inbound. You know that one? I never seen what was going to happen like that. You know that's a quick intentional reaction? I really love to see when this one goes by. <laughs> Me and David, I, I really love seeing how this one is going to keep on going with the sides. You know, it's just impossible. I mean, Nobody would never know how this would happen. Nah, not really for once in a while. I never know how they're going to keep on going. But hopefully they're going to get down to it. Here's Hicks, and this one will stop in the other corner on the other side. And Orbot will give it over to Dunn. On a start right, over to Carlson, and now Pedersen will have it. Here's Pedersen right to Sepinson. This one stopped by Soros. Now back again. Here's Bakari, now we'll give it to Higgins. Circling his way of motion right up to the netting. And Anderson will have their team for Team McDavid. Here on the other side, Team McKinnon takes a steal as Cody Keller will have it. And Keller tries to race across and bound. This one as goes right near the goaltender and Anderson will take the puck away. Here's Fiala, he'll have that puck in range. Right to Terry, save comes up by Saros. You know the only thing in action right now because that really gives him a stop. Ultimately, he just had the appearance to try to keep him out of it right away. And another one's coming in by. As there's no score between the Connor McDavid team and Nathan McKinnon's team right away. Here's Anderson gives to Donnie. Not a shot, and first one scores. This will be Team McDavid as Drew Downey will have his first goal from the LA Kings. You know how this easy goes? Because Drew Dowdy really got that one a great start. You know the slap shot comes in because he was way off the wild target. He just made it up clear and he went past it right through Sarks. That's a great start that they're taking it on with the pressure. For Drew to me, it looks like a Drew Dowdy really got to go a lot of the great and signs in this slap shotting about. He got a great one to type. As for Anderson and Caudre, he got him great to stop their pursuit. On a start range for Team McKinnon, and we'll have that one with 1 0 star. Now Jones will have it here on the other side of a rink. He's the pass to Keller, this one's blocked up. Great D by Anderson. Past the midway mark of the period as he'll have his first goal in the All Star game. Now Terry will have it over to Dowdy, this one blocks it up. Dowdy shot! Try to rebound it again, and this one goes back to Cairo. You know who's a great defenseman? You know who it is? I know Talbot can have angle of that, but the pressure range may be a hard thing to go with. Well, not for me. May actually. I mean, could be a great way to keep on coming. The first one stops in for Thompson. This one will be the other side of the team, McDavid, with 7.35 to go. And now ready to do it our face-off. With the win, here's Dowdy. He one gets blocked out. And Dubias gets this to Zuccarello. Zuccarello over again to Cadre. What a save by Thompson. Oh man, Thompson gonna get that one a great strength if he gets that one with a great save inbound. McDavid with the putt. This one stopped by Saros with 6.15 left to go. 
Not a lot of time out there, but just to improve them, nobody has ever seen how this one goes. Well, not basically a typical way to do this, but you know what? This one turned to be a great game than anybody. McDavid wins the face-off as Dunn gives the Petrangelo. This one redirected as McKinnon will give it over again now to Rantanen. As for Team McDavid with one, here's McKinnon's team. This one gets bubbled out, and Hosey will have that puck in range. He gives out to McKinnon, tries to give to Connor to redirect, he scores! On the other side, as Wintonay has his first goal in the All-Star game, tied up by one. You look at it clearly, and you give it off to Rantanen if he was going to make that shot. He didn't really think he was going to do that, because the unstoppable force was coming in from a cannon, and he just really got it in, right passing the goaltender. You know, that is a crazy look in between. You know how I say, because the assistant comes from Kyle Connor, he really made that one a good appearance. What a great start for Team McKinnon, they already are tied up right now, looking to make the major career to put it up. Kyle Connor will have their team back to chai turn. Hit the shot, it's saved off again by Thompson. Went into Connor's shot, this one's out the way. McDavid lost that puck. Give it back to Bertrangelo, and now he finds Dunn over to Meyer. Meyer with the puck and race. Off again to Dunn, shot, saved again here by Saros. Ozzy with the puck, deep it over to Rantanen. Slides it over, trying to pass it in by the defenders, but it's now back to Gozi. Rantanen lost that puck as Patterson has that one back to Horvath. Team McDavid swiping it down from Team McKinnon. Got it! Oh, he went down! Looks like Horvath wants to show us a physical contact here. Well, keep an eye straight. You never know what's going to come out. This one will be stopping with only 48 seconds to go in the first period. Here comes an hour face-off. Orbach wins the faceoff. Patterson shot. Good stop by Saros. Orbach back the airway for mining to Petrangelo. And done shot. This one's knocked away. McCarr will have it now. Trying to pass from here. Trying to go with the leadoff. Done. We'll end up with the first period. The All-Star turned to be great in between the two. Great start for the first intermission. We'll be right back with you shortly after this. First half is complete. Now we start on the second half on the other side. And we're off to go. Let's see how this one comes in with a static run for the first half in between of Team McDavid and Team McKinnon. Guys? Well, I know certainly I really love the communications in between. The last two in between of Sowers and Thompson, they really are picking up the pipes here, just like they did here before, right from the offense and defense. Because the first one starts off with a big moment here for Team McDavid, and they were really been keeping an eye on it for lots of seconds in between. But I have nothing to say what this is because it's a great way to keep an eye on it. And then for the other side, we really have not seen how this one is going to come along. They really are picking up the pace here, and I never noticed what's going to happen. If there's a change off in between, then I guess that it might be a quick off look if they're trying to keep that one that hard. They're doing really well the best they can. You know, I've really seen so many of them. They're really like picking pushing P. They really are doing a lot of heavy attackers. I've really never seen how this one goes in. But hopefully we're about to see what who is gonna make it to the next round for the finals to get this thing on the board. Here's Stevenson, he'll have that put hooked it up as Soros. 15.51 left to go in the second half of the period. And then at this one, game still tied up. We are going to a shootout right in between. If you've seen the last game, I hope you enjoy the 2024 All-Star game. But this one wasn't updated at that point. So, we don't know what would happen. Well, you may never guess it because this might have been last year's appearance. That could be so. And Caprizov, here he comes! Backhand! Great stop again by Stompson. 
And that one going to be a break loose to go with a leadoff score. You know, in easy why I never really seen what's just going to happen like that. Because if the pickoff was going to be a late, that would have been a crazy guy to go with the leadoff. Two on the hand as Thompson and Saros are a little bit on between by those two. And ready for another face off again. Here's Dowdy shot. This one stopped by Saros. 14.02 left to go in the first second half of the period. And Ray is doing our face off on the other side. And the win puts for Dowdy. Oh, he lost the helmet! And he's going to have to retreat back to get a new helmet. And an easy smock down for the collision here. That is going to be a hard one to tight. Ouch. Now, Corbin will have it over. He passes Stephenson. Shot saved by Saros. And now back to Morrissey. Morrissey will have his own time keeping it over. And a shot. It's Thompson with a big save. 12-11 to go in the first half. First section of the group of Central and Pacific of Team McDavid and McKinnon. We're just coming in down here to look for a leadoff score. Team McDavid wins the base off as Anderson gives to Downey. Downey over to Fiala. Now he'll have his own time to scrub along the board. And this one goes blocked it up. And this one stopped by Saros that quickly with 11.22 left to go. You know an easier thing about Saros, he's definitely playing a lot hard with the team of National Predators. But I'm thinking he might be doing this again. Who knows? Maybe it could be a one way that we can try to see what goes next. You know, I have a range in this one from Thompson. Maybe it could be a great idea to keep on coming down. Maybe there might not be another way to get this thing down. You never know. Geller lost that buck. And Kadre will have that puck in the other side of the corner. Now he finds Anderson and now gives to Dowdy. Dowdy lost that puck. Here comes Pavelski. On a shot! Oh, it just went off the defender and this one goes right toward the boards. Morrissey gets pushed back while Keller regroups the puck. Terrence Senko! Not even on a wrist shot to take. Good poke by Thompson and Terry back the other way. You know an easier way to take a defensive? They have some skills to type. Don't keep an eye on that because that may have been a hard thing. Nobody would count that. Now they're ready to do an air face off. Teams are tied up with Team McDavid and McKinnon. Now he's going to run for Orban. He went back down as Dunn will have to regroup the puck. And Stephenson takes him a little time here and this one comes in. Here comes Benson shot. Oh, what a save by Saros. That's close, Carl. You've got to get that feeling off. And we're off the crossbar. That is a hard one to take to reach. Oh, man. I never see what was going to come out like that. Other side, Thompson makes a save. We're getting a little bit close out there after all. But hopefully everything's turning out smooth. And Horvath wins again. Pochangelo will give it off to Dunn. Here comes Pedersen. Have his own time. Passing right in between, and Jones has it back. Connor gets blocked up in between. 5.50 left to go in the first, second half of the period. And Pedersen shot. Stop by Saros. Oh, he's getting easy at this point. Wow. Lost it out. Oh, what a save by Saros. Just under five minutes remaining in the period. This one's still tied up, looking to get a goal right up ahead. And then after that, it will be shootout time. Right between the two of the Pacific and Central of the vision of McKinnon and McDavid. Who's went down? Oh, that's a head smackdown. Oh my goodness. Don't get uncomfortable if you know how to do that. That's a hard one to take. Puck sails out. Rebound stopped by Thompson. Under four minutes remaining in the first half of the period, still looking to get a leadoff score, but there's another one coming down. You've got to keep an eye on that. Oh, man. That's a hit. Hit on the loose out there if you're looking for it anywhere. <laughs> yeah, that was this crazy one. I've never seen how this one's going to come down like that. <laughs> well, at least you may be able to keep on coming down if you want. Always. Troy Saito will have that puck now finding Carlson. 
And McDavid goes back to Carlson. Shot! Good save by Saros. And he finds again. My shot! Oh, what a big moment! And Eskinen get to get to Pinks. Rupert Pinks finds Kaprizov. Shot! Rebound. This one goes out into the corner of the wall. Hits again to Morrissey. Good block on a shot by Team McDavid. Meyer got scrambled out of here and Hits will have it. We are under a minute right now as this one will tie it up. Last one that doesn't get the goal will go to a shootout. Here's McDavid's shot. Saved by Soros. And what a big lucky moment. This was like a hard one to take. What a big moment to go with a save by Soros. Let's have the call for, for Ultra Beast. Who do you have? You know what? I've really got a great feeling in between. Thanks for the assisting here, Terry. But I'm thinking they are really on to a great start. I have a lot of encouragement. They've done their best. And for Soros, he made a great save to take off the spear. And there's the turn away! Looks like Team McKenna has got that one in the lead as Kyle Connor beats the buzz beater in the second half of the period. They've done well. Find an answer back and they're moving on. Well, here's one thing, because of Kyle Connor, he really made it all the way down, right from the other side of the ring, and he beats Tate Thompson. Look at that. Rock it in there, and they are moving on. As for Rantanen, it has the assist. That one will end with Team McDavid. Well, a shocking run. Not a real game this happened, really. But eventually, Team McKenna moves on to the finals. That will end here, and we'll see how well would they do to face the next opponent. Stick around later, let's go back to Center Beast for the next matchup. Terry, thank you. While they're getting a short break, let's get you on with this next matchup. So Team, as right now, Team McDavid's out as Team McKenna moves on to the finals for the All-Star game. And now, we're about to see the next opponent. This next matchup, as we're about to be seeing, the one team that will do for all, everybody that we can definitely take. It's Team Goose facing against Team Matthews. Now, I know that Matthews is not in the uh, current starting of the group, but probably with the, with the uh, fourth and fifth on the starting lineup, might be the first line that could take over it. Well, in that case, without Team uh, Jack Goose, it wasn't the, the day that was going to be here. It was only Quinn Goose, by the brother of it, have done a lot of his perspective to take all of his response. No, I'm not even kidding, because this definitely happened most of the time when most games come in by. They've done a lot of their percentage to do a lot of routines that they are trying to keep on going. But now, this is the team that we are looking for. Let's find out who takes the next goal. And the goaltenders will be up there momentarily while the game starts. Artemi Panarin, Sidney Crosby, and Jack Coos are the starting group for the Metropolitan team and for Team Coos. That will be only for Jack that will be playing. And for Team Matthews, on the Atlantic side, Nikita Kucherov, David Pasternak, and Victor Bedman. That's it for now, and we'll see who the finals are when we could, it all comes down to this. Back to you, Terry. All right, Beast, thank you very much. And this one, it's time for the second group. Ice is all cleared, ready to start things off. Well, as of right now, Team McKinnon definitely got a great start to do all for his team. And with the effort, they are ready to do something a lot much harder, but they can try to keep on going. What did you take here for Team Hughes and Team Matthew, guys? Well, you know what? I have a lot of percentage in between. I'm looking to see who is going to take on next. With between the calls in between of Alexander Barkov and the other team of Allmark, and this one for Alex Ovechkin. These guys are the harder ones, but they are trying to keep this thing all on board. We're looking to see who has the higher percentage to take all of this ability. But I have a one tough thing to tell you. It might be a great day for the Central Division to have it come for Team McKinnon to face against the winning team of Goose and for Matthews on the other side. Let's find out how they do it. Back to you guys. And over to you, Bernard. What do you think will this be? Well, you know what? I have all eyes on Team Atlantic, and I'm thinking Team Matthews might have it all. 
You know why? Because they really are ready to take things all down on the up. You may never know what to guess it, but let's face the fact that they can definitely do it again. I'd love to see how they can do to try to keep up their moves. And off again, here's Team Matthews as Pasternax will have it into the corner. He give off to Barkov and he lost that one. Back to Team Hughes, here's Ovechkin. Ovechkin will start things up here to give the pass and a shot. Saved by Omar Grimaud, score! There's Alex Ovechkin, the captain of the Washington Capitals. As their start for Team Hughes, 1-0. You know it is your way, but you can definitely spot things on that Alex Ovechkin has a seen eye. The puck on stream went to Gudera, and what's here? Pass off? Thank you! That goes for Ovechkin, a beating time by Oba. Well, you know what happens now, because Alex Ovechkin, he's gotten great. The hard settling inbound is a great way to take things on after Gudera's assists and Sidney Crosby on the other side. Just to keep that in mind that this one may not be easy enough, but to tell you all that this is a one that they tried to do their best and they've done a lot of their percentage. Let's find out if you can do this one here again and find out if there is another relentless ways that they can try to stop on. Back to you. That shot goal! What a save for number on the other side! That might be Vanacek on the other hand. Well, I don't know if it is, but let's find out if we have. Hamilton with the rebound after a save by Olmark. And here it goes to the back end. Burn shot. Great save by Olmark. This one on the other side to Brady Kachuk. And on the other side, Matthew Kachuk. They're both on here. Welcoming to the party, yes. <laughs> I really love seeing it to Kachuk brothers. They're really loving their setups. And the skills have been turning to be a great one than ever. Here comes Mika Zibanejad from the New York Rangers. Gives off to Kuz. Oh, this one's blocked up. Clogged up and now back to Hughes on the other side to Miller. Here's a look. Zavanich has shot. Great block by Marner. Kucherov will have that puck here to racing on the offensive side and now finding Marner shot. Saved off by, by Vitek Vanacek. Kucherov. Marner. Lost that one as Burns takes the puck over. 11 minutes gone by in the first half. On his way down. Give it to Hughes. Shot. Saved by Olmer. Olmark will whistle it here with nearing the midway mark of the period. Both teams are set, ready for the faceoff. Team Moose has a 1-0 start over Team Matthews. And Kachuk wins the faceoff. Ernick will get into Parkov and now he finds Thompson. And Tage Thompson went down. Miller back again to Gates. Ace gives a pass over to Nelson. Nelson again to Miller. Past the midway mark of the period as Miller crosses over into Hughes' side. To Matthew's side. Evan out that puck in rage. Looking to take his own time. Passes across. Fires a shot. This one. And a new mistake and puts up here for Team Hughes. Has helped and ties this game for Team Matthews. Well, what happened here is... Look how he was doing. He was trying to set it off, but that one turned it off clearly, and he just really made a great sight. That's a good start for Igor Shostakovich. But watch what happened. It just whiffed it, and he was trying to keep the puck out of here, and he just missed it. That's a big mistake that they're trying to keep this thing out of here. Not a bigger one. They can't let it go by. A huge disappointing year for the error on a start for Team Hughes, but it looks like they are coming to tie this game. And now with the win for Team Hughes, Hughes Pellet, he will have that puck. Up again with the shots. Good stop made by Omar. Team Matthews, and now he's on the ice. Nylander, on the shot. Oh, Zesterkin makes a great save out of it. You know the pace of it, I just can't be saying that. And he goes to stuck and really got in the great save in between. Gotta keep on coming in. 7.23 left to go as the teams are tied up, looking for a leadoff in the first half. And Kudera will have that puck, now find a bench kid. And Pellets will have that puck. Drops it towards to Gustafsson. 
to Samson. Look to take the yard. Omar makes a save. McAvoy back the other way now. He finds Stamkos. Nylander with the puck. On the other side, looking for some help. Trying this with go to Stamkos. Oh, Sisterki makes a save from the Tampa Bay Bolts. Got that one to try to keep the scores to put up a lead off for our team Matthews. But this one stops in by. And now back the other way. This one comes for Neri to do an hour face off. And now with the win, Darlene shot blocked. Fox has that puck in, racing towards some team who's side. This one goes down. Who's trying to rebound it in? A great stop by Olmark. Hamilton back to Cat Hughes. Hughes trying to go with backhand. Not this time. Olmark makes another save. You know, immersion is not that simple. They really are keeping the thing going and in and out. Now we see how this one goes, but great ways to make that stop save. This one's blocked up by Larkin from the Detroit Red Wings. Trying to end it up. Brady Kachuk lost the puck and it's right now Hamilton gives to Fox. Here's Hughes. He will have that puck in racing about. And the bad jet to lead it. Oh, rebound. What a save by Omar. Oh my. What a great chance here. And a good goaltender comes up with a big save. You know an easier way to do this? Because Omar got it all. <laughs> I know that this one's a lot of hard save. What a big impact. We're under a minute right now. It's Nelson. It's blocked up. And now Larkin will have it here. Spin across. Finds McAvoy. Deep it over to Kachuk. Sure. Stop again by Sisterkin. Kachuk. Running out of time. for Team Matthews. McAvoy. Will he get it? He bound. No. That one stayed out. What a great chance for Team Matthews. And we'll kick some rest here and get ready for the second half. Be right back after this. Scores even of Team Hughes and Team Matthews. Welcome back to the All-Star Game of 2024 of the NHL. We're ready to start things off for the second half. This is due to make their win into the finals and face against Team McCann in the final matchup of the All-Star Game. Now let's say, let's go over here to my group on the other side. Let's say I have your words here, gentlemen. Well, an easy look to make that one feel amazing, like I must tell you that this was a lot of help. Alex Ovechkin, a crazy look at the between to get that girl down, and then from the other side, guess what happened? The other team of Team Matthews really made that one a terrific motion opportunity. They are really are showing them off. A lot of pressure to get in. They are just doing a lot of timing to get this one strike. Yeah, easier to say. There must be a lot of chances that they are just trying to keep that one in there. But not to worry about that. They really are trying to keep on going. Well, and this time, who do you think this will be? I'm going to say Austin Matthews for sure. You know, T. Matthews really had never gone that far. Maybe I want to see them how well they do. Well, I have no other choice. I'm thinking Jackie Hughes. The Hughes time may be going for everybody, but hey, I'm going to give it off to Matthews instead of that one here. Oh, don't tell me you're doing it. Well, I am actually. Oh, don't even say that. No. <laughs> if something happens right now because I got Team Matthews to go with, that's my star. I'm going to keep an eye on that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man, we got a two on Owen going on. I'm not even comfortable enough with those two. I have no decisions making. Well, you just had to go out anyway. <laughs> wow. Good stop by Shesterkin. Another save comes inbound with only 14 13 to go. Now with the two. It's between by the instincts and butterfly effect, as I have Ultra Beast standing by. The butterfly effect has a lot of him to take all this rage. The inbounding has taken a lot of enforcement to do a lot of his tricks. He's been pretty well at it doing the butterfly effect and can make that reaction quick. The extinct is goes to Elinus Olmar. He does have it all to keep on coming down. When he has more room, he can try to like keep an eye on the puck here and let the instruct that he goes with a quick timing releasement and do it again. I'll watch on those two if they can keep on going. Let's find out what happens if the two one comes in popping by. 
Here's Burns. He'll have that puck in Stella and down for Team Hughes. Now finds Hayes. Two on one opportunity. Saved by Allmark. That was a close call. No, this would have been not easy enough if we were trying to keep it going. Here comes Suzuki. Lost that puck. Recovered by Schneichikov. On to Burns. Now Team Hughes will have it over to J.T. Miller. Miller trying to move in. Glucked up by Allmark. 10-15 left to go in the first and second half of the period. As right now, the last one will remain to get in to the finals. The win tip it's up for Team Matthews. Here's Srechikov. Srechikov over down to Kucherov. Oh, ho, ho, that's a knockout punch by Team Hughes. Look at that. You know this offense has got a bigger drive. You're going to have to punch somebody out of here. He's off on that. Too close to Carl. Can't get away with that. Gloved up by Olmark. 8.38 left to go in the second half of the period. Still looking to get another one to go for the goal in between. You know the big attacker, they're just really like messing them up. I don't know what to tell you about this, but hey, don't mess them up if you know how to deal with them. Sidney Crosby wins the faceoff. Pellich, over right now to Kudera. This one poked it out by Omar. Crosby battling along the board. Recovered by Matthews. And here he goes. Matthews on his way down. 101. Take the lead, Lander. Stop by Sisterkin. Oh, this would have been a great pass here for Nylander to get a goal for Matthews. They know a bigger timing is not even easier enough. Don't make them feel uncomfortable if you know how to win it. Crosby wins the faceoff. Here's Pellet, you will have his time. Now finds Gustafson. Gustafson shot. Good stop by Omar. Now Matthews will swing it over to Sergeyev. Montour lost that puck as Kudabar will have it over. 6.15 left to go in the second half of the period. Gets right down. Wimpled it out. Sergeyev gets it back to Montour and now Stamkos will have it. You know what happens because that whip, that's a dangerous kid. They were just going attacking everywhere. Yeah, and just like that on the other side, too. My goodness. Rack gives it to Konensny. Here he comes. Will they get it? No! That's all Mark with a save. Oh, what a big save of the night. Linus Allmark with just only 440 left. You know what happened now because you give off that good save. That is crazy. Wow. To believe me that Lena Salmark really cops it on. He almost lost it, but a great recovery. They're coming back in. Still a lot of time in this period. Teams are tied up by Hughes and Matthews. Now Stamkos wins the faceoff. Here's another one back to Pasternak, and now McAvoy will have it. He gets swiveled down from the boards. Here he comes by Nekis. Looks a Konensky shot. And back to Don Lean, and will block that shot, and I'll find Barkov. Here's Barkov. Toward the middle, saved by Sisterkin. And this one goes right behind the net, and Hamilton will have it over again to Nekas. Nice zone entry. Oh, he went down. There's a lot of bunch of hits out there. We've got to be careful with that. Be, all, be outside of it. You can't mess him up if you don't know how to play a defense right. That deflection won't go in. Here comes Benderin. Will he break it? No! It's Olmark with the stop. What a great save for Linus Olmark. He's so perfect. When that breakaway chain, there is like a big banker to have that blanked out. That is going to hurt someone else's feelings. They are just getting out of here. One to expect the others. Nalin wins the faceoff. Good check. Now finds McAvoy. We are down to a minute. If they are tied, we are going to a shootout. Larkin up. Saved by Shusterkin. Here's come, here comes Kachuk. Up to Kachuk again. Last seconds. McAvoy. Nalin will win it. No. That's saved by Shusterkin. And we are going to the shootout for the first time in the All-Star game. Now this time, we will send it over and find out what goes now. 
Let's see what happens if there is a choice in between. We'll be right back after this. Here are the scores in between the first half and second half. And now this time, this will happen to be a shootout in between of those two of the NHL All-Stars between a Goose and Matthews. Who do you guys think will have that win? Well, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to go with Team Hughes to go with that one with a shootout of this range. I'm not even sure that this will happen in between, but let's face the fact that there is one. And how about you, Woodsbury? Who do you think you'll get? I've got Team Matthews ahead because... Looks like Austin Matthews in the team, they're really up to a percent. I'm thinking they're going to go with the win. Well, in that case, well, we'll see what happens if there's a choice in my. And you may never know what comes in for Victor Hudman, and I'm thinking that goal turned to be like a first period for the team Matthews on the other side. It's going to be a lot harder than a challenge it is. Now let's get into the shootout. We start now. And here it is. Winner that will win the game will face against Team McCann. And we are ready. We start off with Team Hughes. It will be Jack Hughes. Here he goes. For a good start, will he take it? And this one will stop him by for Omar. An easy look in between because of that night now. Jack Hughes didn't get the cut in bound. Now for Team Matthews. Here's Kucherov. Will he settle it down? No. First lineup is off to a, a shutdown moment. We now in a second phrase. Here he decides to go with and think about it. Go on to Emotion though. Alex Ovechkin fails to do this for the start. Now the other side is Austin Matthews. Will he have his own time? Can he do it? And in it! He scores the goal in the shootout range! Oh, what a perfection for Austin Matthews. That is a close one to be. You gotta take all credit to the medal. And now with the fur line. They need to tie this game up. Will Crosby do it? Back and run. And that's it. That turns to be the end of it for Omar. And one last one to go for Team of Matthews. Pasternak will have it. They need to do something about it. Good stop. With two lines remaining for us, for Team Matthews and Team Hughes. Here's Gudera. Sharp and angle, no. That one stops with another big save. And back the other way go to right down to Matthews. Here's Thompson. Tage will have his own time to go for two, no. Oh, man, that was close. Not an easy way to get this one done if you know how it's straight. Last group in between, Arte Banaran. Will he tie it up? It's over! Team Matthews on to the finals to face against Team McKinnon. And a, what a big night for Omar. You know it is, you know why? This is whatever happens. You have to make that win and be successful. Well, that all wrote she wrote, partner. And this time, we'll get a quick break. And we'll have one more to go to face things on for the last matchup. I will have Santa Pace back into the, the pregame to start the finals. And we'll see you all in just a bit. Back to the other side, Beast. All right, Terry, thank you very much. As this one, right now with a team shootout win, it delivers to Austin Matthews, who definitely made that one to make that one shot look tricky, but he finally done it again. Team Atlantic of the Matthews team heads on to the finals, and they are facing against Team McKinnon. This will be the last one that we'll be doing with three periods, right in between those two. Well, in that case, we may think not. But there is only another thing that we will be able to try to keep on up. These are the two that will be the last ones to be determined. Winner who wins this game will be the champion of the All-Star Game in 2024. So this is it. Matthews and McKinnon are ready to get this thing going for the finals. And let's find out who will earn the All-Star Victory winner. Back to you, Terry, to start it off. See you guys later for the post-game show. Thanks, Beast. This is it, the finals of the team. Right now, Team McKinnon and 
T Matthews. Winner who wins this game will be the champion of the All-Star Game. Look at games begin. Last two in between. Now for your takes here, guys, and who do you think will win this game? Well, in my close opinion, I'm going to have to go with Tang Matthews. They really have been the best shape and ever that they are trying to keep this thing on board. You know why? I really love seeing how well they can do right away with this instant. Tang Matthews got a lot of great percentage, and we're happy enough to see how they can do. Beat off the goalposts. You know what I'm going to have to go with? I'm saying T. Matthews may be a great thing to do this one, but I prefer not. I'm thinking T. McKinnon is going to take all of them. We never seen like this upset because Nico Rantanen and Nathan McKinnon, they were in a better battle of the two with Kale McCarr, the trios of the Avalanche with their all-star group. They really are trying to look forward, forward into it. Mm. If you say so, we might say, what could that be a thing? Well, you may never guess it right now. I mean, you may never know what's going to happen. Well, let's find out if there is one. Here's Robertson. Lost that puck as McAvoy will have it. Archuk! Oh, there is a simulation to go with the hit-off collision. That could be like, hey, what's up? Not a choice at all. I mean, no way to get this thing done right away in this instant. They are just really battling it off. Ouch! Saved by Omar. And the Saros is on the other side of it as well with Team McKinnon. A freeze off shot, blocked. The freeze off tries again. Now finding McCarr. Oh, and Kachuk decided to give the knockoff to again to Team McKinnon. And now Morrissey will have that puck. Race towards the Kintz. And it's battling for the loose puck. Near the blue line as McAvoy will have it. Trying to go for the back there. Or, oh, he didn't get there in timing. As Saros got a piece of it. The lean shot. Good by Saros. Stop the rebound again. Morrissey with the rebound. Oh, that is great with the rebound. A lot of air time in the moment. They're just really are keeping things off. They're really are smocking it down. Never see how it goes. Well, in tough range on that. Wow. I don't know what to say about this, but this is like a battling with the dream daring to life. No way on that. Can't fool you. Jones wrapping around to Kucherov. He's an arrow for Suzuki. Shot and scores! The goal is made for Team Canadians, and he finally has brought their team up, up by one. You know when you give up the battle look, you give to Suzuki. He got a great battle for the loose puck, and then watch happens. Suzuki finally earned that one. He made a great open look. That is an open, clear look response, and that is great. That is excellent when you can take. Team Matthews are up by one, and Team McKinnon looking to get their goal to tie this game with under a midway period. Now for the win for Team Matthews, a circuit champ will have it over. Kyra with the puck takes it over. In towards the right. Circuit Chef's got it again to Kucherov. He lost that puck. Nearing the blue line as Kucherov has it back. Here's an error take for Kucherov. Jones has it here. Has it in right back again to Zuccarello. Demayas with the puck. Swings off the Cairo shot. Nice glove by Omar. What a quirky backhander. And a catch made for the goaltender. How well do you know that? That catch is beginning to look great for Omar to try to keep up their scores. Wow. In that case, nobody has ever seen like that. Nearing the mark of the first half, the start of the goal for Team Matthews is 1-0 over McKinnon. Face-off win for Team Matthews. Thompson lost that puck, and this one goes back to Zuccarello. Will he make a try? And it's off the target with the puck's handling. And Sergeyev will give it over again to Olmark to hold the whistle in play. We're under seven minutes remaining in the first first half of the period, looking to see what they've got. The call for Nathan McKinnon. He has an unstoppable force to take all of this response, and he can try to go with the puck and try to force all alone. On the other side, right now, we always call it run the world. Tage Thompson with the puck on the string has a lot of it to take for his percentage. 
He can try to keep the puck at the angle to go with the intrude, tricky motion to take all of them. I have a lot of respect in between for those two of Tage Thompson and for and for Nathan McKenna. Let's find out who takes turn here next. Back to you. Let's get it went down. Kyle Connor back to Rantanen. And Montour back to Paxil. They're just really got to go back and forth. They really need to do something else about it. Here's Thompson's shot. This one stopped by Saros with under 409 to go. Just got a big piece of it. Trying to keep it out of the range. For the win, here's Josie. Josie, oh, what a smash hit for Team Matthews. And a stop made puts up a Saros. Kyle Connor racing towards the attack into the Matthews side. This one will go back to Kachuk. Kachuk to Sergeyev. Now he springs to Larkin. Larkin pushing his way down. To Kachuk shot. Oh, that was too hard. This one goes back to Kachuk again. Saved by Saros. This one will hold the playing out with only 2.15 to go. They really are keeping it going. I mean, no stopping down, and there is no slowing down. They just want to keep this clock speed ahead. Another win for Team Matthews. Nice save by Saros. Try to turn over now to Kaprizov. Brandon Wild shot. This went way wide off the mark as Robertson recovers. Here's Kintz. This one battles in, and the puck goes out of zone. We're under a minute right now in the first half. Looking for Kaprizov to give off to Robertson. And there's the penalty. I don't think nobody has ever seen it like this. Oh, I think it was going to be a smosh skip. I think he went from the board. I think that's going to hurt him. Here's Larkin. He's in the penalty box. Was saying, hey, hey, I just didn't even mess up on you. <laughs> no way. I mean, I don't know what is going on, but, but don't get us feel like nobody would like to say that. They're like all over him. Can't fool you. Dean McKinnon will have their advantage with the power play to finish up with the first half of the period. Let's see if they can get one. With the win, here's Ranton and Morrissey. Shot blocked. McAvoy at the other hand. The flingy arc. Behind the net. And that will end the first half here as McCarr will hold it here just now. While the power play will resume in just a couple of minutes, we'll get to the second half right after this break. Don't go anywhere, the NHL All-Star of EA Sports will be right back. Oh, hi, this is Test Tube. I hope you're all enjoying yourself here for the NHL All-Star game. This one's going to be the next one to try to keep, keep, keep your termination right in this game in instant. For the next one game, the next location will happen to be is Edmonton. We're already 2025 All-Star Game of the NHL for the next of the matchup. First we spotted the Canada, and now this next one will be happening here in the section of Alberta with the Edmonton as the Oilers will be seen for the nexus and the returning of the franchise players from their teams. This one will be the next one to keep your eyes on to go with the line of our supports and we'll see what happens if the team comes in for a lot of changes. This will be the next one to keep your eyes peeled on. Right in between those two in the alley, that will be on for anybody's game. And this will be the next one to try to keep your eyes on. Also, the NBA All-Star is going to be coming in and kicking towards the night. Oh yeah, that's going to be another great day for basketball. So if you're looking for that one, there's going to be another one here after the finishing of game number 10. This will be the number one to keep your eyes peeled on. And that will be the underway here shortly. To go of another look, it will be happening after the Magic and the Wolves. That test tube is all finished for now. That's it for announcements. And keep your eyes peeled on the Inanime Sanity Invitational Part 2, number 19, of the turning to winner. Beginning to the ending will be the last one to be with. Now, I don't know what happened, but you'll never know. Something surprise might come up. Don't just say it out loud. Don't break the fourth wall. Don't say anything. Keep it quiet. You'll never know what's going to come out. Time to get back in for the second half of the NHL All-Star. Test tube out. Thanks for joining with us. And the postgame will be underway for Senate Beast later.
Bye bye. Welcome back everyone, and this is where it comes down to this. The last one will win it all. And we are off to go. This has been a fun All-Star game in between the range of Team McKen and of Team Matthews for the win against Team Goose and the other side of Team McDavid. Let's have your thoughts here. Who do you think will win the whole thing? And who do you have it got? I've really got a lot of choice. I'm going with Austin Matthews for sure. The most powerful player in the world. I mean, come on, man. I think Austin Matthews made out with the shootout range. He finally lucked it out. I can't believe what goes next, but I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of change off on their run if they wanted to keep it going. Not so fast. I don't know what they could do. Maybe there might be Tay McCutton that could go for the one. I don't know if this would be happening like this, but hi, let's find out how this goes. Well, you may never say never. You may get it all when you want. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Me too. And for Team Matthews with a win, Montour shot, as the power play is already coming down to the wire. Here's Montour. Short handed, though. Down to 10 seconds. Looks like his time's almost up. And now we'll end it here with the full string unit. Team Matthews are back into their full pressure lineup zone. They really are working things off. No All Star penalty has been called by right those teams, just like it happened with the real game. But now, this one happened here, I've never seen anybody doing it like this. That is like no way. Blocked the shot as he went down. This one's blocked up. Kucherov back again to Kachuk. Here he comes on the other side, gonna turn the Pampers. Kachuk shot, saved by Saros. Oh, Brady Kachuk from the Senators would have given it up to a clean pass. That would have been a good, good call to keep underway. And what a true lunch list to take down here. That's the biggest takeout. Guys, for Jerry Saros, he has making that one with the post to post blank on the range. He may have it all there coming down. Now there's another chance that they're going to keep an eye on it. With a lot of big saves, let's see what happens if another changeoff comes near to end the arc of the All-Star Finals. Back to you. Asking and battling with a loose puck and Larkin will have it. Kachuk will have it. Larkin on his way. Kachuk shot. He scores! It's 2-0. Brady Kachuk for the Senators have the goal. It's a great way to give a pass off, and you've got to give that call. What a big point blank range, and you can try to beat Saros out of here. And he's your range. Never see how this one is going to come out like that. Brady Kachuk, you be the best with the All Star team. From the brother itself, right now, I'm just looking at it over. I'm thinking Brady Kachuk might be, might be having fun. He might watch his brother play if his team is in the playoffs. Astronauts lost that puck. Recovered by Heskinen. Their team hasn't got a goal yet. They need to do something else. That brings up trying to look for over again. One timer stop again by Omar. Jones whipped it out. Astronauts with the puck. Here he comes on the other side as Tate Thompson will have it. To cut him bound, lost that puck as Nix will have it over. And he has a slide. Caprizo near the slot. The lead will have that puck here taken over. Thompson, McAvoy will have it. And back the airways, Barkov. He gets slipping down as Thompson has it recovered. And McKinnon, McKinnon, excuse me. And this one getting big and over. He got a lot of bigger brows on the ground. And on the ice. There's just no way that they're going to stop it right now. I mean, what's the big use? Are you going to do that? Probably not. Here comes Barkov. 101 got banged up by Heskinen. He went whip down as Kaprizov has it, and their offside has been whistled. Nearing the midway mark of the period as Team Matthews with 2 0 over Team McKinnon. Now ready for another face off with only 10 18 to go. Another face off win for Team Matthews. Here's one for McAvoy. Looks to range to Kucherov. The spinner yard, back to McAvoy, and here's Dahlin, this one goes right back again to Suzuki. And backhander blocked up, as Rantanen will have it. 
On a range in sight, Grant it in. Listen, McKinnon, block the shot. McKinnon again, this one saved off. McCarr with the puck. That one kicks out as McAvoy will have it out. Now finding Kucherov, a bit again to Dalini. Run of a save, he's looking for at the main advantage. Rural, save made by Soros. You know an easier way because of Soros really got that save coming in battle? He's really like trying to like keep it over us. No, no question asked. They just really need to keep on going. Omar covers it with the stop at a goaltender. It was only 46, 46 left to go. And we do have a winner here. Let's have your take here for Ultra Beast. Well, the instinct I really have a lot of them to take over this. And I'm thinking that it looks like that. It looks like Old Mark has been putting a lot of great saves. This was as amazing as true and honored, and it could all be determining for the best goalie of the night of the All-Star game. It's a best for the best forever on this game. Here's McCarr, he'll have that puck in range, finding again to Keller. And here now on the other side is Tarasenko. On shot, saved again by Omar, trying to keep it out. What a team for Matthews. They are really are going over this. They're trying to speed him up the pressure. You can't get away with that. Nylander lost that puck, and this one goes back to Saros with only 4.19 to go. Lots of time left in this period. Matthews up for 2 0 over McKinnon. You're back to do it again. So good shot, save, rebound. Oh, that one's too close to call. They would extend it down. The earlier range, this is like the biggest, toughest of the defense. But they're having fun right now. Let them be. Allmark's going to hold on with only 3.18 left to go in the second half of the period. Nearing down the final minutes of this game. Still a 2 0 run for Atlanta of Matthews. Montour give it again to Sergeyev. Yes, Kachuk. Pass to Kachuk. On the range inbound. He finds again to Larkin. Shot stopped by Saros. And Saros covers it up. 2.15 left to go in the second half of the period. It's coming down close to enough. You know, they really are having a lot of great strength. You know, everybody definitely really practice hard. They have fun. And even I do have fun. This one's like the best game ever for the All-Star. Here's Bakar with the puck. We're under two minutes remaining. Off to a full race. Sergey Chip takes the puck away and now Kachuk will have it. Kachuk battling for the board. Good pass off as McKinnon will have to hold it here. Last minute remaining in the second half of the period. And this one stopped by Allmark. 40 seconds remaining. They need to do something quick before the time period expires. And this one, the game is getting to be a one fantastic of the series. And this one goes to McAvoy. Dalene with the puck and now find Thompson. This one will fire it out. Eskino! That was going to be a boarding call. And that will not be enough to get there. And this one will be the end for its day. You know, an easy way you just really love the boarding and you like to close the gap with a body check, but you have a problem with that. This one calls an elbow and you're not going to be David Postinox. Yeah, there's an elbow. That's a hit. Good call for the rough stick, no, but they're just not getting away with that easily. Last one for the team, and this will be all over. And that's it. The win for Team Matthews, and they are going to win it all. What a game! If you really enjoyed this one, this is the better play that we all loved it for. So that is it, there will be no third period, so this game, what a night! You know, the biggest way I just really love to say that it just had to be Terry Matthews' idea. They really have done their best. And your presentation of the All-Star of the game is Team Matthews. They have it all pressured out here, they've done their best of all their routine ever. And your furry star players in the game are coming up there very shortly. But this one, 
for a player of the MVP All-Star of the game goes to Austin Matthews. Congratulations, Matthews. You've been playing one time to another to make a great arc. He's here excellent to have all a courtesy. They've been doing it a lot that best. With me, Terry Crews, along with Boomer and Wood Spoonie, this has been a presentation of the NHL All-Star on EA Sports. Thanks for tuning in with us, and we can't wait to see you again for, for the postseason of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs to the finals. See you all next time. All right, guys, thank you very much. As this one turned to be all for everything. Here's how we do with the total statistics. 21 over 10 for the total shots here. 14 Matthews. 20 over 19 for McKinnon. 413 over 406 for an Atlanta of Team Matthews. 94 over 85 for Team Matthews. Faceoff win for 14 over 4 for Team Matthews. A penalty kill was only 4 minutes for Team Matthews. But they did have fun, actually, so don't question me that. Power play was only nothing for Team McKinnon. And 205 was the time of possession for the power play of Team McKinnon. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this one, please consider to like this video, subscribe to the channel. We're going to have tons of more between the sports, and don't forget the skits coming out underway soon. That will be the next one that has been, re well, has been rescheduled and postponed. That will be the truth to keep your eyes on. Yes, I know, but don't worry. It'll be underway soon. But as of right now, Sun and Peace is out of here. Thank you for tuning with us. And we'll see you all later for the NBA All-Star on 2K Sports. And we have some great, well, great MCs to bring back with you soon, so stay tuned for that. And for the meantime, and all the between time, this has been a presentation on the NHL All-Star in 2024, presented by Honda. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on my media. And finally... Hit the bell icon so it's the best way to support for this, my channel of the work. And I'll see you all again pretty soon. For on the other side of the NBA. If you don't, somebody will. See ya folks, and good night. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.